These were some good days when the grandbabies would visit me at work. It was wonderful. This was maybe like 20 years ago. I worked at Dosker Manor for 17 years. I need you to share this, if you will, share this post. I need your help because we care. We care. As share. Mentioned, As mentioned, Dosker Manor means a lot to me. It meant and it means a lot to me. I had the opportunity to work there. But this now is involving what's going on at Dosker. So many people, more than you can ever imagine. And we need to make sure that our mayor and, and everyone in Louisville is aware of this. Maybe other places. So if you, once you listen to me, I would appreciate if you share or if you reach out. Because maybe you can get some answers. Um, I want to say some months ago. I don't have the exact dates, but you can look it up. It was some information on the television about... Um, how Dosker was being unkept, maintenance issues, issues with bugs, and so many things. And it grieved my heart to see that. I was like, oh, my God, what happened? So I did reach out to the housing authority. It was my first time just to share how how it hurt and that I, do we remember, did they remember that they're public servants? Because that is the position you agree to do is to serve the public. And so anyway, that was the first time. And I offered if there's anything I can do. It has nothing to do with the price of eggs. But I'm like, I will go. I will do. And I will just however I can help. And so then it hit me. And I was reminded by someone else that has retired from the housing authority. That during COVID, uh, there was not much maintenance done. And maybe that was the cause of a lot of the issues. And I'm like, well, okay. Okay. But gee whiz, that's not good. You need to put on them white suits and get in there and do what you got to do. But anywho, and it still was bothering me. And I talked to Bishop Lyons and he said, come, come to, you know, I have breakfast with the officials and we have breakfast. I want to say once a week on Fridays. Well, anyway, long story short, I went. And it was everybody, a lot of people represented. But after going and watching, I was reminded that this is probably one of those meetings that they have just to appease people, you know, since I work for Metro. I'm not saying anything I'm not saying, but if you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. So anyway, I shared with uh, somebody from the mayor's office, and uh, I could tell that it was just a matter of appeasing me, and that's okay. That's okay, because I've been to those kind of meetings in the past. So then, later, I contacted the housing authority again in writing, and I was connected with the Osbudsman. And we sh shared, et cetera, and that's fine. And, um, you know, that's fine. And I felt quite sure. I've always given my name. If you wanted to contact me, do that. Because my heart is there. So um, then I saw not too long ago where Dosker Manor has been approved by HUD to be demolished. I was like, oh, my God. Not saying that's bad all the way. But the first thing that came to my mind was those bed bugs. If you don't know anything about bed bugs, my God, it's not, it's not good. It's just not good. And I remember some time ago that Paris, London Paris was having a problem. And tourists wasn't going well anyway. But bed bugs ain't no joke. So um, contact the number 311 Metro call to share my concern. But before I did that, let me digress. I contacted the media where I saw it on TV, gave my name and number, and, and she said, do you want the reporter to contact you? I said, that's fine, but I just need somebody to know that this is a serious problem that has a potential problem. It's already bad, but a potential problem to get even worse. And so I need your help to share this post. Because we need to find out, we need some answers to how this is going to be taken care of. I'm not saying don't tear it down, but there's some problems here, y'all. Well, anyway, Healthy Heart is um, a vision that God gave and, and let it come about to an, a platform that I can share as a social media influencer. It's amazing what God can do. Well, anyway, the significant part of Healthy Heart is to remind people to guard their hearts spiritual heart specifically, but to see that they're significant because you sometimes can feel insignificant depending on what group you are in at that given time. So 
everybody at Dosker Manor is significant. And you are too, whoever's listening, please share, because this is involving so many people. And I had to speak out for more reasons than one. As I said, Dosker is close to my heart. I had the privilege of serving there for 17 years as the property manager. And if you knew me or if you lived there, we call that Dosker, Kentucky. So we would have the mindset, everything wasn't perfect now, but we would have the mindset that this is our block of 685 units, a whole bunch of people right there together, but we could work it. We had so many things going for us. And um, you might say, so why are you so particular about Dosker? It's not just Dosker, it's Metropolitan Housing. And back in the day, it was Louisville Housing. And I grew up in College Court, and that was one of the sites. And my daddy was a cop and maintenance and just so many things. And I just knew when I get big, I want to work for the Housing Authority. Woo! Now, back to Dosker. I know, and you know, it's an old building. Yes, COVID took place. But these bed bugs, honey, there is a problem. Because, mm, I know what bed bugs can do. Being there at the onset when they were kind of taken over in 2013, not taken over, but there were a lot of sites. I'm, I know what I'm, I'm not a believer, I'm a knower. I would walk out of the office sometimes if I saw someone walk in with a bug on them and just pinch it, thinking you can't, you, uh -uh, you ain't coming up in here. And some people would be ate up. And folks would have to get new furniture and didn't have the money to do it. So it would just hurt my heart. And if I get emotional, that's because it's real life people that's going to be affected. So I would come home and, and take my clothes off in the garage and hurry up and shower and just do so many things to pray that I wouldn't bring them in the house because they're not easy to get rid of. And I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional exterminator, but I know the havoc the bed bugs can cause if they're not handled. I have first hand knowledge. Who so much so that I just want to share a few things with you. As I said, I'm not an exterminator, but to tell you how serious bed bugs was back in the day when I was working there and HUD would do their annual inspection. If there was a bed bug reported from a work order, they wouldn't go in there. So if they wouldn't go in there, why so okay, here we go. We're telling you about bed bugs, because if you ain't heard about them, they are around. Now I know why Mama and them had everything in plastic. But anywho, bed bugs, I'm looking at this right here, they prefer to eat on humans. Mm. And bed bugs, they reddish brown or oval and, and flattened or kind of transparent too. One time I went to a Christmas gathering at Dosker, and I loved people. And I hugged somebody, and I came home with breakfast, lunch, and supper, because normally they bite in three different places. But, of course, I sprayed myself, so I didn't bring the bug home. But bad bugs, I found out, I'm telling you what I know, they can go through walls, they can go through light switches, they can go wherever there's a crack, through the air ducts, mm, through plumbing. And before I left, I had lease papers one day, and I took it across. I'm going to lease it. Why did one fall out of the paper? I'm telling you that them bad boys don't play, and they're hard to get rid of. And as I said, I would pinch them off of people if I saw them crawling because you may not feel the bite, but you will see the residual of what the effects. And so they move slow. They slow moving, and they have a very long lifespan. They can't. My a relative worked at another site and somebody brought a bed bug in and he put it in a baggie forgot about it six months later he picked up that baggie shook it that bad boy was still alive so they can live you can google i'm not an exterminator but you can google they are survivors they can go a long period of time without um, any food mm. and they can deal with most heat unless it's real real hot Whew, and as I said, they, they don't just live in your beds. And they have different coloring. I'm going to show a little something here. They reproduce quickly because you don't even see the eggs, honey. They can, uh, I've got here the average lifespan of bed bug is about one year. Females lay about five eggs a day. More than 1,800 eggs in their little lifespan. And they are not usually dangerous unless you're allergic to the bite or you keep scratching and scratching and you get your skin infected. But this is what concerns me about bringing the, the site down. It's like, what are you going to do? Because even when you bring 
the site down, people will be carrying the bugs in their luggage. All throughout Metro, you would have residents, depending upon where they're moving, and they hitchhike on shoestrings. So will residents' homes be treated? Will the resident, <clears throat> their clothes be treated? Because you don't want to send, people can't replace furniture and stuff. And then landlords ain't going to want that either. And then when you demolish, I Google this. You Google, get you an exterminator. But I need Metro to say, what are you going to do? Help me repost this. What are you going to do? So even when you demolish and bring the building down, the bugs that are there can go on the contractors. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm just speaking truth about what I know that we need to be aware. Nobody has answered me from the housing authority, from the mayor's office. I need us to find some answers. And so <clears throat> my heart is for the city. And then when you transfer people, some of them people have been living there for years and years. Where you move them, make sure they have services, especially if they're older. I'll be 70 if God says the same. And it's not an easy transition. And if you care about people, think about the whole person. But back to this demolishing the site. Yeah, good. Ha, ha, ha. But if some of these contractors aren't dressed appropriately, they got to take them home because they can get in the wood. They get anywhere. You take them home all throughout Metro. You carry them. It's going to cost a lot of people a lot of money. So we all are important. The residents, definitely. My heart is, oh, my God. I just, it hurts me to see what has happened in these last. Well, anyway, but help me find out answers, please. We all need to know. Because you think there's a problem there with pests. Wait till people start coming to church and other places with bed bugs hitchhiking. I ain't trying to scare you. I'm just telling the whole truth, nothing but the truth. You look it up. Find out for yourself. But please, somebody share what your plan is. What are your intentions? Don't just think you can get rid of the site and the people and it's over. No, 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 no. Bed bugs ain't like roaches, honey. I know roaches been around, but bed bugs, that's a different breed. And ain't nobody got no money to replace uh, for our elderly people to get ate up. And then that population is handicapped, elderly, disabled. You got the mm, handicapped, elderly, disabled. Don't kick them out like that. Make sure, and I'm not saying you are, but you need to say something. Because I wanted to go to a meeting. I called, you're not a resident, you can't come. But I am a concerned citizen. And praise God for Healthy Heart. Because that's what Healthy Heart is about. It's about people. So share this or get to asking questions. Do something because everybody i've called i haven't heard anything yet and at least you could say i got your message or fine when i called metro i said so can i get a work order number or a number she said no we don't do that but they did that when i worked for the house but anyway we don't do that but i'll make sure somebody will respond and maybe two weeks has not been enough time but nevertheless y'all keep your eyes open keep the post going please i'm telling you you don't want those bugs doing in metro what we saw in the news for paris and i told you how they multiply take heed so anywho thank you please share please show concern those are real life people and we are too they are people that live there that have been ate up and living in deplorable it wasn't a, mm. but anyway please share please reach out get some answers all right ta-ta from Cha-Cha.